Hello, magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Panibagong video at panibagong kalaman ulit para sa inyong lahat. Medyo natagalan tayo sa paggawa ng video ngayon kasi medyo maraming nangyari at medyo naging busy tayo. Pero that is already my personal information. Pero ang topic natin for today is all about custom URL. Before I proceed, kung bago ka sa channel ko, please don't forget to subscribe and... Uh, Turn on the notification bell. So, without any further ado, let's now get started. Intro. Ayan. Ano nga ba ang custom URL? Ang custom URL, eh, yun yung may topic natin for today and i-explain ko kung paano siya nag-work and then kung ano dapat ba ang malaman sa custom URL, kung paano ba ito makuha and then mga criteria na ito. Kasi hindi porket na-reach mo yung part na to is pwede ka na agad makakuha ng custom URL. As you can see, ang nakikita mo ngayon ay ang help center ni YouTube tungkol sa custom URL overview. So, basahin muna natin. Ang nakalagay dito, a custom URL is an easy to remember channel URL that you can share with your audience. Custom URLs are based on your channel name and display as youtube.com slash your custom URL or youtube.com slash c slash your custom name note sabi dito you can remove and set up a new custom url for your channel up to three times per year if you move your channel or youtube channel to another account you need to remove your custom url from your account then set up a custom url on your new account after 72 hours and so si custom url ma quiz ma ate but sabi nga nito, easy to remember channel URL. So, ito ay uh, customized to na URL para sa channel mo lang tulad sa channel ko. Um, pag search mo siya, pwede mo gamitin yung youtube.com slash c slash. Ito yung ginamit ko eh. Pero, wait. Pero, ayan. So, as you can see, lumabas agad yung channel ko. So, yan ang tinatawag nila na custom URL. And sa custom URL, pwedeng nangyaring um, youtube.com slash your custom URL lang or merong letter C. Pero madalas, ang naipu-provide ni YouTube is itong pangalawa. youtube.com slash C slash your custom URL. So, hindi in porket ay no, uh, gusto mo ng custom URL, i- may approve na agad yung channel mo. Uh, I want to let you know na hindi ganun siya nag-work. Kasi uh, ang custom URL, depende pa rin yan sa channel name mo and sa, ano, sa content na nakalagay doon. May nakalagay na note dito yung kanina na binasa natin. Sabi dito, kaya yan ang, ano, uh, binasa natin na uh, makapag-change ka lang ng custom URL mo 3 times per year. So, pag nasumobra ka na ng, ano, mag, ng changing ng custom URL para sa channel mo, eh, magkakaroon yan ng error message. Kaya madalas, yung mga monetized channel is na-contact sa YouTube para mag-request nun. Pero hindi porket kumontak ka sa support ni YouTube, i eh, ma na agad kasi nakadepende pa rin yan sa availability ng custom URL na gusto mo at dun sa um, dun sa custom URL na gusto mong isalpak sa channel mo kasi hindi naman pwedeng ganito yung content natin about YouTube tapos ang content mo is all about gaming ganun. so hindi pwede yun and then pag nag-move ka daw ng channel mo from ano uh, an uh, account to another account, kailangan mong i-remove muna yung custom URL mo para ma-set up mo siya yung custom URL na yun sa panibagong channel mo. And doon sa channel mo, ma-set up mo lang siya after 72 hours. So, 3 days din yun. Pero, make sure na makuha mo siya or like, mabantay mo siya kasi madalas, may mga, syempre, may mga channel na magkakaparehas, pwede nilang makuha yung custom URL mo, ganun, or baka hindi mo na siya makuha. So, ano nga bang ano, eligibility criteria ng custom URL? Sabi dito, to create a custom URL for your channel, your account needs to 
have 100 or more subscribers. So, 100 lang naman yung minimum na, na kailangan mong i-reach para mag makuha mo yung isang availability criteria nun. Yung eligibility criteria pala. Pahalawa, uh, be at least 30 days old. Yung channel mo to, 30 days old yung channel mo. Have an uploaded profile picture. Kaya, kailangan meron kang profile picture like this one. And then, nakalagay dito, um, have an uploaded banner image with, which is this one. Nagalagay lang tayo ng kahit ano para makuha natin ang ating custom URL. Kasi na natin yung 100 plus na subscribers. Nakalagay dito, uh, note that uh, YouTube deserves the right to change, reclaim, or remove custom URLs at any time. For example, we may reclaim a custom URL that was associated with a deleted Google account. So, pwede nyo lang, ano, um, i-remove yung deleted, ay, yung, yung custom URL mo, kung deleted na yung Google account. Siyempre, hindi ba naman siya kinagamit. So, why not naman, di ba? May meron silang process dyan. So, sila, sila yung bahalang nag-remove niyan kung anong bang mga policy nila. Pero, ayun nga, nakalagay dito na may notice na silang, may right silang if tanggalin yun, uh, kuhain, or i-remove yung custom URL mo anytime. Ayan. So, next tayo. Um, pwede, mo, pwede mong isa up to through computer, um, through Android mo din, pati sa iPhone or iPad, if you are using iOS, para makita mo yung custom URL mo, sabi dito, find your custom URL. First one, mag-sign in ka lang sa YouTube Studio mo. Pangalawa, sa left menu, click, click mo yung customization. Makikita mo yun dito sa parte ng um, YouTube Studio mo. Uh, sorry, hindi ko may papakita yung YouTube Studio ko. Medyo, pinatahag. Pero basta yun. Uh, so, so, click click mo yung ano, uh, customization sa may gilid, dito lang. Makikita mo yun, scroll down mo lang siya, and then click. After mo maklik yung customization, may part dito pipili ka, basic info. And under custom URL, you can view and copy your custom URL. If naset up mo na siya, pwede mo copy yung custom URL mo tulad nito. Uh, next tayo, if magsaset up ka naman ng uh, custom URL mo, first one, sign in ka lang sa YouTube Studio mo, like yung ginawa nung una. Pati yung pangalawa, from the left menu, select customization, tapos basic info. Under yung channel URL mo, click set a custom URL. Tulad ang nakikita mo dito sa may video. Ayan, palawadan mo natin saglit. Ano ba yung unang ginawa niya? Nasa basic info and customization. Next, basic info. Tapos, baba, set a custom URL for your channel. Tapos, pili ka na lang kung anong gusto mong channel, custom URL sa channel mo. So, sabi dito, you can choose the suggested custom URL based on your channel name or add extra letters or numbers to make your custom URL unique. And then after nun, click mo lang yung publish, tapos confirm mo, and then meron ka ng custom URL tulad nito. So, pinili ko iso malapit lang sa pangalan ko para mabilis lang naman siya na. Uh, first name and last name. And then, to remove a custom URL naman, um, una, ga gagawin mo rin siya, sign into your YouTube Studio, click sa left menu ng YouTube Studio mo, select mo yung customization, next is yung basic info. Patlo, under your current custom URL, click delete. Ayan. So, pinapakita sa video, Ayan, click mo yung delete, and then under about, click your custom URL, click remove, Ayan. then click remove again daw, click mo siya. To confirm na gusto mo talagang i-delete yung custom URL mo. At tapos, nakalagay dito, it may take a few days for the previous URL to deactivate. So, and dito naman tayo, pag nagkakaroon ka ng issue about adding custom URL, basahin muna natin ang nakalagay dito. In the past, YouTube URLs were created by selecting a username which was claimed on a first come, first serve basis. Once username was taken by a channel, it could never be used again, even if the original channel was inactive or deleted. The, this system resulted in many channels not being able to have the URL 
they wanted and deserve. To get a custom URL, make sure your channel meets the eligibility requirements yung binasa natin earlier. Then, follow the steps to claim a custom URL tulad mong steps na ginawa natin. Custom URLs are based on channel description, Google identity, associated website, and a few other factors. This is to ensure that channel can get a custom URL that is unique to the channel's brand, consistent on YouTube, and shared across all of Google's services. Ayan. So, I'm explain dito kung bakit hindi ka makahid ng custom URL kasi nga, uh, it was quick. Sabi, ginawa siya by, ano, over saying, and, uh, first come, first serve basis siya. So, kung nakuha na yung, ano, uh, custom URL, parang sa akin, gusto mong gamitin yung akin, hindi mo na yan makukuha kasi na take over ko na. And then, hindi mo, never mo siya makagamit. It's case to case to basis yung mau, um, like, makagamit mo yung sa akin if, like, sabi natin, dinilit ko yung channel ko, dinilit ko yung Google account ko, and then, ilang taon na yung nakalipas, tapos, hindi ko pa rin siya binabalik, and then, kung, pares tayo ng pangalan, and then, pares tayo ng content, eh di, pwede mo naman siyang i-claim, para, makuha mo yung custom URL na ginamit ko. Tap, tapos dito, um, ayun nga, sabi, original channel was inactive or deleted. Okay. Pero, ayun nga, case to case basis, may tendency na pwede mo makuha yung sa akin, if you miss na gusto mo yung maha, makuha yung custom URL ko. Uh, based on experience na rin yan. And then, next is, sabi dito, this system resulted in many channels not being able to have uh, have the URL they wanted and deserve. So, yun nga, gusto gusto mo yung custom URL ko. Since, since na nakuha ko na siya, di, di mo na siya makukuha kasi nasa channel ko na. And then, ito yung policy nila. Tapos, to get a custom URL, sabi dito, make sure your channel meets the eligibility requirements. And then, ito, yung binasa natin kanina, eligibility criteria, 100 subscribers be at least 30 years old, merong profile picture, merong banner image. Tapos, ito rin yung pag-setup ng custom URL mo. So, follow mo lang yan. Once na, once na na-reach mo na yun, ano, eligibility criteria, and then, meron ka na ano, meron ka ng custom URL. Make sure lang na magpapalit ka ng ano, custom URL mo ng 3 times lang within a year kasi kung hindi, magkakaroon ka ng error. So, ayun, uh, ayun din, gaya ng sabi ko kanina, na Depende siya sa channel description mo, Google identity, associated website, and a few other factors like yung color na sa content mo, ano na yung pangalan ng channel mo, ganun. Ayun na nga mga quiz mga ate. If nakatulong or I hope nakatulong sa inyo ang video to. So if you found this video informative, please do leave me a thumbs up. And if you have questions, clarifications, and suggestions, please comment down below. For more content like this, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell ulit. And that's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye!